Let's go back to our default configuration. I'm going to change the sketch plane this time. Let's right click on Sketch 1, select Edit Sketch Plane. Instead of using the top plane, I'm going to use the front plane. Once again, we can specify this configuration, all configurations, or we can choose specific configurations. I'm going to select this configuration and I'll click OK. Now, if we go to a different configuration, we'll see that the position of our part hasn't been changed. Let's go back to the default configuration, and let's talk now about how to create some configuration-specific properties. Let's go to the Configuration-Specific tab. Select the configuration to which you want to apply the property, default, for example. Now let's get the property name, part number. The type will be text, and for the value, we'll enter 01. Tab to register. Let's select a different configuration now. Let's say config 02, the part number 02, tab to register. And let's click OK. Now let's learn how to change the color for specific configurations. First, let's check this option down below, Link Display States to Configurations. Now let's right-click and apply color at the face level. Let's go with a cherry red. And let's scroll down. Under Display States, we can select this display state, all display states or specific display states. I'm going to stick with this display state and click OK. Now let's switch configurations. As you see, in this configuration, the top face didn't change color. Let's uncheck Link Display States to Configurations. Now let's switch to the default display state. Now we can preview how the part is going to look. Let's check the link box again. And let's learn how we can apply different materials to different configurations. Let's go to the Feature Manager tab. Right-click on Material. Here we can select one of these favorite materials from this list. Or I can go to Edit Material. Let's select Steel 1020, and now we can choose the configurations to which we'll apply this material. Once again, we can do this configuration, all configurations, or we can specify the configurations. Let me just cancel out for now and close here. Another way to apply material is to right-click on Materials and select Configure Material. Now let me create a table. This is pretty useful. I'll give it a name. I'll call it Material, and let's save it. Right from here, we can select the material from this drop-down menu. These are my favorite materials. We can also click Browse if we want to choose from more. For example, Chrome Stainless Steel. Let's apply and close. Let's apply a different material to the default configuration. Let's say copper. Click Apply. Let's save it and OK. Now let's go to Configuration 01. Double-click on it to make it active. As you can see, we've got the different materials applied. Now we have an entry for tables in our tree. To edit the table, you can just double-click on the node in the tree. And right here, we can change the material. Let's say Rubber. Apply. OK. Now the material change has registered in our configurations. Let's insert another table. Let's say one that'll manage the dimensions of the cut extrude. Let's right-click. Configure Feature. 
Here we can specify where to suppress or unsuppress features. We can also change the dimension D1. That's the extrusion depth dimension. Let's change the value of D1 for config1 to 5 millimeters. And before I forget, let's enter a table name. I'll call it my dim, save it, apply, and OK. Let's go to the configuration manager, double click on configuration one to make it the active configuration, click rebuild, double click on the new table, my dimension, and let's change the default configurations D1 dim, let's say one millimeter, tab to register, apply, and click OK. As you see, the depth of the extruded hole changes in the configurations. What I'm trying to illustrate is that using tables in a configuration is very powerful, very easy to use, and gives you a lot of flexibility. This concludes our first tutorial about working with configurations. We'll see you back in a moment where we'll talk about configuring data.